Hi, I didn't see you there. So you might be wondering, what is Artemis exactly? Well, allow me to explain. It's a spaceship bridge simulator with a strong focus on team play. You and your friends pick various stations on a ship, designate someone as captain, and then work together to complete your mission. The interface for each station is very simple. Instead, the complexity and the fun is in working together, like limbs on a great big Power Ranger mecha. Let's take a look, shall we? Okay, so this is the Artemis game window itself. I'm going to hit Start Server. Okay, so in here you get the options for what ship uh, you want to take. So those are the uh, different kinds of ships, and you see down here it says what your loadout is, you know, what, how many beams and tubes and uh, the storage capacity. Uh, so over on this side are some server settings. Uh, there's the difficulty, which goes from 1 to 11, which I appreciate. Uh, the option between warp and jump drive type. Uh, sensor range. And here's more about the mission itself. So you either have invasion, which is essentially a random map set up and enemies appear. Um, so the layout can be single fronts, they all appear from one side, double fronts, so they appear from two sides, or siege, where they can appear from any angle. You can uh, change the amount of stuff in the sector, so uh, xenoforms and mines and uh, nebulae and, and, and asteroids and things. Uh, so we usually leave this on very interesting, because why not? And then some time limit settings. So um, an alternative to invasion, there are a couple of uh, options here. There's elite co-op, I'm not actually sure what that is yet, so I'm going to get back to you on that. And then there's mission mode, so these are slightly more complicated scenarios that have been uh, pre-built. Uh, so there's, uh, I think there's seven of those, so uh, they're worth checking out as well. They can be quite difficult, but uh, a lot of fun. Okay, so um, that's, that's the, the server essentially, so you can just uh, start up the game. Okay, so I'm going to start client in this window and connect to the server. So the first thing you see is a list of ships and a list of stations. Uh, usually you'll just pick one, um, one or two. I'm actually going to pick them all just so I can show what they each look like. Okay, so I'm ready to play. I'll check that. And in we are. Okay, so I've defaulted to the main screen. This is what the captain's going to look through. Um, they can request um, that some of the other stations change what this view is. There's a few status views and things like that. Um, but you, you notice that there's absolutely no control. So in theory, the captain has this view and asks for information from the other stations uh, in order to make the best decisions, but really does no direct control. All right, so over here is Helm. You get this kind of top-down view. It's a bit more technical. You've got information about the ship, and you can um, impulse around, so that makes you move, and jump. Uh, that makes you uh, jump in space. So let's say I give it a little bit of distance, initiate the jump. So it will do a countdown and then teleport me um, at a large energy cost. There we go. Cool, so I've done a little jump there. Um, you can also turn on and off shields. And over here, as I mentioned before, this is the um, this is the way of changing what's on main screen. So you see I've, I've changed it to tactical view and main screen now sees tactical and there's a few other options. Okay, so that's that's kind of the basics of Helm. Right, weapons looks kind of like Helm, very similar view, um, but down here we've got some different stuff. We've got the weapon stores, we've got the torpedo tubes, and you can see, well, you can see it in Helm as well, but these are the beam arcs. So this ship ha has uh, quite a few beams uh, available, and there's only a couple of small blind spots. So this is like, I think, the most powerful ship you can get. So all the ships, um, there'll be a big blind spot in the back generally, and it's the same for the enemies. So you can load things like this, so you just pick which in the store and then which tube and you hit load. Uh, you can also unload them, but as you can see it takes time, so uh, you want to be fairly sure of what you want to do over here. Uh, you can also, if you're running low on energy, you can, you can convert torpedoes to energy, so that if you look at the homing missile count there and the energy count there, if I click this, the energy goes up and the count goes down. You can also create torpedoes from energy, but that's uh, 
a less useful function. You'll see here we've got beam frequencies and that can be anything from alpha to echo and um, depending what science tells you about the enemy shields they'll be more or less effective. Okay so then onto the engineering view you see here um, you see a lot about the ship big amount of readouts this is all the damage uh, these are the energy levels so let's say I turn primary beams up there's the temperature and these this is the coolant so if I just charge the primary beams to this level and fill it with this much coolant the temperature will go down uh, you see this little number here this is the energy that each system is taking you can see the jump drive drains a lot and if I'm not using it um, I might as well turn it off it's not going to affect anything until I actually ask for a jump and the same is true for the front shield and rear shield um, okay so uh, yeah engineering's job really is to manage these levels so that you keep your energy high and you charge the systems that need it so say we were dogfighting you'd want maneuver you'd probably want some impulse and beams um, double tap space to reset everything and um, you can also create presets so let's say I want a low energy preset I turn everything off like this so energy ticks up that's good uh, and uh, let's see. so I hit shift one say and that means uh, if I press one it's bookmarked it so that's really useful so something the engineering can do uh, when they're idle is setting up um, bookmarks for like useful configurations uh, and that makes them a lot more effective you see these diamonds these are damcom damage control teams um, so they move around the ship and when these turn pink uh, they've been damaged you see the readout here and you see the type of thing uh, so this is an impulse section, this is a warp section, this is a primary beam, etc. So as these get damaged, the systems go offline and your ship becomes less effective. So these teams will then go and uh, repair uh, damage. If the part of the ship they're in gets shot, then um, there'll be casualties. You see there's six members, it says. Well, as they get shot, you know, they'll, they'll be dying. Uh, the teams can be replenished at a space stations that you can dock at. Okay, so let's go on to science. So this is a nice uh, high information view, um, all kinds of stuff here. Uh, what you can do is look for unknown objects and scan them and you can see this little thing ticks around. The speed of that depends on how much uh, energy engineering is given to the scans. So I'm going to find out what this is. Okay, this is an enemy ship, a Kralian cruiser. This is its direction and range and these are the stats of its shields. So if I scan it a second time, and we'll just do that now. Okay, so we get this graph and we can see that Charlie is going to be the beam frequency we want. So, ah oh nice, I have that set up already. So what would happen is science would uh, scan the enemies and tell weapons what frequency to use and that's going to make them a lot more effective. Um, so yeah, science has the uh, most information. A lot of this stuff uh, the, the other stations can't see even on the long range scan um, science has just a bit more um, a bit more control because they can zoom and they can scan things so I can scan this for example alright so uh, yeah science is really is the kind of most uh, intelligent um, station they, they know the most about the situation over on um, comms this is uh, essentially messages from other ships and space stations and a place where you can transmit messages as well. So I can talk to a space station, I can say DS-1, stand by for docking for example. So they say docking crew is ready. Um, so we've gotten some, mis um, some messages from TR-00 which uh, says it is being attacked. It's probably dead to be honest. Um, haven't heard anything from it for a while. And now TR-40 is being attacked. See. Uh, you also get um, little mini missions like, for example, this, Help Us Help You, first rendezvous with DE-02 and download some data we need, then dock with us and we'll enhance your shield generators. So it can, uh, these, uh, the rewards are you know, improving your ship. Uh, okay, so um, this, is, this really is all there is to the comms interface. Some, a really nice feature is if you, um, you can basically taunt enemies and 
<laughs> There's their reply, Arg, we will destroy you. So that means it's a success and they are now flying towards us rather than whatever their previous target was. Uh, the best part is Red Alert. Which, uh, yeah, makes that awesome alert sound. So there's that. That's great. Uh, that's all it does, by the way. It just makes the alert sound. Uh, okay, so Observer View attempts to make an interesting looking uh, camera for people to watch. Uh, it doesn't always succeed. I mean, there's not much for, for it to look at right now, so you can't really blame it. Captain's View, um, what is this, Captain's Map? So it's a bit like science, but without the uh, ability to scan. So this is an option for giving to the captain if they don't want to do the uh, main screen, which is a bit, uh, the main screen only view, which is a bit hardcore. Okay, so there's um, uh, a Games Master view. I haven't really used it much, so I'm not really sure how it works exactly. Um, yeah, I haven't really any idea. I guess you can send messages to people. Uh, not really, not really certain what the deal is with Games Master. So uh, yeah, check it out. Uh, like I say, long range scan. Everyone has access to this, but um, in theory, if everyone's doing their job, you shouldn't really need to use it that much. And uh, this is just looking out the window essentially. So those are all the stations. Um, so at the moment, I'm a one man ship, but um, uh, what you'll want to do is bring your friends, get them all together, each of them can take a station and then you meet up on TeamSpeak or something like that and uh, you communicate uh, orders and information to each other. Um, you really do need to designate a captain, it, it pretty much doesn't work if you don't have somebody who who is in charge. Um, so yeah, I, I would definitely uh, give it a go. So now you've seen the basic idea, let's play a mission and see how we do. Um, I'm good. Should I be a dick and just say I'm going to use the four bound starboard and all that crap? <laughs> <laughs> I quite how, like how about if the FWG boat? <laughs> I like sick. Can we have yeah. space boat? Space boat, yeah, cool. <laughs> FWG space boat. Nice. Uh, so is do we have an actual designated captain or? I am going to captain for this Ed. first one. Okay. Ed said so he's not captain. Energy. Energy. You can captain if you no. want. Yeah, I mean. No, 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 no. I don't. I don't, I don't want to captain. That's the idea. <laughs> no. I don't want. To. Yeah. I don't want this blood to be on my hands. <laughs> um, I'll take we weapons. We I like firing nukes. Okay. <laughs> okay. What station would you like? Uh. Oh, there's only engineer left. I take that then. Uh, well, if you use weapons, I'm helm then, I guess. Uh, cool. Uh, so I'm gonna be comms and captain, which leaves science. No. Uh, so who should I take science? I reckon. I think captain should do science because uh, you know it's captain kind of cooler if, to go. if the captain isn't science though, because then he actually has to talk to the science officer, and you get a lot more information mm -hmm. that way. That's true. And everyone watching will probably get more information that way as well. If Guy was here, okay. he would totally be science. The mission is difficulty level four, so that's kind of medium. We have a jump drive for uh, that. It's uh, regular I'm invasion siege mode. We're a dreadnought. We're still we dreadnought. Be battleship. No, we're not. Okay. I reckon yeah. battleships are good balance. Uh, okay. The sector is very interesting, so there's all kinds of weird shit. Are we gonna have space whales? Space boat. There will be, yeah, space, be whales. space whales. There's space whales. That's gonna be sick. Ours. Okay, so everybody ready? We're gonna nuke them, right? Yes. Oh, absolutely. Okay, hit start. Bam! Alright, we're all in. Let's get my little cheat sheet. <laughs> so I know where starboard is. Right. Where the hell are we? Okay. Okay, so I see some xenoforms, uh, xenomorphs? No, xenoforms. And <laughs> there's some They're shit. coming off the walls! <laughs> oh god! I'm gonna scan this first and see if this is a space whale. So stand by. Oh, a lot of weapons. Uh, engineering, low power preset, and set up your other presets. Uh, weapons, oh, load in ECM. Uh, how many tubes do we have, weapons? Two. Two? Yeah. Okay, uh, ECM in nuke, please. Weapons. Done. Sweet. Why is scanning not working? Because oh. you cannot scan space whales. You can't scan space whales? No, they aren't scannable. Space whales, you know what space whales. Okay. I mean, I'm assuming it's a space whale, but, but not they, don't have, they don't have shields. 
Uh, oh crap, DE03 is about to fly through a minefield. Let me just uh, make him not do that. Uh, transmit. Uh, uh, Captain, D36, although well, it's not quite as urgent, is on a collision course with the singularity. Okie dokie. Uh, I recommend you divert him to deep space too. DE36. In fact, D in fact, every single destroyer is heading for something that will destroy it. <laughs> hey, it looks like DS4 is uh, the thing, our immediate concern. Uh, they are under direct attack, so we're going to let the other ships fend for themselves. We're going to go there. Uh, so, Helm, uh, listen up. Uh, it is at direction 42 and range 17k. Uh, so let's Direction 42, range 17. Punch in 15 instead, so we don't actually land inside it. Roger that. 15. Excellent. Um, okay. Jump. Do it. Jump in nine. I thought you were going to count down. <laughs> Two, one, <laughs> mark. <laughs> Excellent. Please vomit. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, there's no gravity. It's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, weapons. Be advised. Contact. Charlie, Stop. beam frequency. Charging shields, Captain. Do it. Nice. I like that initiative. I'm firing. I'm gonna try and dodge this. Okay, cool. Okay, its rear shields are... Actually, you know what? Just stick with its front shields. It's easier. Right, uh, Captain. Engineering, we want tank mode. Shields and beams. On it. His sensors and maneuvers are down. Should be a cinch. Excellent. Okay. That was easy. So, I'm gonna find us a new target. Did that ECM hit? I believe it did. I think it okay. also hit us. Uh, how are we doing, engineering? Nope. All we good? Are good? How's yep. our energy? Shields, Captain. Yep, do it. We've got some Korean cruisers coming out of sector D4, just emerging from a nebula, and they're going towards a minefield. I'd like to jump that way, so I'm gonna... Helm, may I give you a coordinate? Hi, Captain. Okay. By the uh, way, our shields are off. Yeah, that is uh, probably good. good. Yeah, we'll turn good. it back on when we get to fight. So the range is 28 clicks, and the bearing is 163. Uh, facing the same. Roger that. Preparing jump. Jumping in nine. Sweet. Five. What's in the tubes, weapons? Three, two. Uh, we got an one. ECM and a nuke. Mark. Perfect. <laughs> <coughs> Excellent. Knees. Okay. <laughs> Captain okay. Mines bearing one eighty. Okay. Uh, line up in front of the mines, and then I'm gonna taunt them. So you can see that, right? I don't. You yeah, I'm gonna, gonna uh, talk the mines. Where are the hostiles? I'm gonna talk the hostiles and they'll follow us. <laughs> Roger that. Moving behind the mines. We're pretty low on energy. Just saying. Okay, uh, yes, we are. weapons. Convert one missile into energy. Um, engineering, get energy where you can. Turn off things you think are non essential currently. Uh, Captain, how do I convert a missile into energy? It's on the far right of your screen. There's two buttons one uh, energy missile, one missile of energy. Basic nuclear theory. What you need to do is extract it. E equals MC squared, right? So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's. Okay. CR11. Okay, so I'm going to. R11. I can smell you from here. I hope space I'm doing scum. this right. Cool. Uh, how's our energy looking now, um, engineering? Getting better. Same. Okay. 570 now. Uh, DE36 is dead. Six. I think they just went through some shit. Captain, the hostile ships are approaching the minefield now. Okay, come about. Um, shield, them. please. Roger that. Uh, front shield only, uh, engineering. Yes. And shields are up. Maintaining distance. Okay. Uh, when they're inside that, wait for them to enter the minefield. If they don't go off weapons, I want you to fire the ECM, then the nuke. ECM is offline now because we converted to energy. Uh, can you convert ECM to energy? Remember? You, I thought you could only convert homing missiles to energy. 
Captain, uh, contact minefield imminent. Excellent. All right, fire a new Mines thing there. Because it's just because awesome. Okay. Uh, targeting one of the enemy ships, firing a nuke now. Oh no, wait. So shields Take, down. Took care of it. Nice. Okay. Shields are still down. Our shields. shields. Our shields. Yeah, we don't need any yet. Now activated. Okay. Oh, can you do that, engineer? No, I can't. Oh, I, 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 I activated the shields. Cool, cool. Good. All right, um, Helm, just bring us closer to the minefield. This is taking a lot too long. Roger that, Captain. Moving closer. Can we reverse and to let them come in to the uh, minefield a bit better? Oh yeah, um, Helm, change. You know what? Never mind. There we go. <laughs> Took destroyed. Never mind. <laughs> okay, so a D twenty five. Captain, I have a problem. Captain, I have a problem. I don't. I am unable to load uh, tube two. Um, uh, really? Yeah. How? Nothing. How? Nothing seems to work. No damage. Hmm. Should we go to a space station? Uh, can Maybe you it's on the energy. Earth? Energy, energy low. No. Some someone did something. Turn shields off. Yeah, the shields. shields. Okay, we're gonna shields jump off. to DS two. Uh, I can give coordinates. What is our energy level currently? Who's uh, energy level. Okay, uh, Andro uh, uh, weapons. Can you convert a uh, homing missile into energy? And then Helm, I'm gonna give you jump coordinates. Aye, sir. Okay. Um, Facing 270, bearing 270, range 24. Facing 270. Sorry, can you repeat coordinates? Uh, 270, both. Roger that. Range uh, 24. 24, thank you. Excellent. Ready to uh, initiate jump. Put that in. Jumping in. Okay, uh, immediately after how long a dock? 3, 2, one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <Achoo>. <laughs> there we go. There's a sneeze. Okay. Our energy is drastically low. Captain, oh. unknown object off to port, bearing one six zero. Uh, let's Roger dock. That. I'm gonna scan it. Uh, yeah, dock. Get docking. Roger that. Oh crap! Got an enemy coming in. Quick as we can. Roger that, um, Captain. How are you, sir? Energy to impulse, please. Engineering. Yes. Done. Uh, twitchy flying here, Cap. Anomaly. Anomaly is, is coming close. You appear to be flying backwards. <laughs> oh wait, no. I'm just yeah. Doing a slow update. <laughs> I think the warp drive might be playing with us. <laughs> you haven't got reverse on or something funny. Oh no, maybe it's the xenomorph. I think the Xenomorph was doing something to us because it approached us and then it went away. Sure, I'll buy that. <laughs> <laughs> you have to. Go out of way. Can I have uh, some sensors energy? I don't think I can scan. Yes. Excellent. Okay. Uh, right. Enemy. Contact off the port bow. Yeah, indeed. Uh, what's in the tubes? Anything? Nuke. We got one nuke. Fire it. Uh, Should I continue docking? Uh, keep docking. Engineering, tell us when the energy is full. <laughs> I can't. 180, there's nothing there. Shields, Captain? Shields off, shields off. Yeah. Shields. Uh, shields are not coming up. Malfunction. Shields are up. up. Uh, tell me what the energy is. Okay, uh, yeah, disengage, rear shield, yeah, energy, uh, come about, fire the beams. We're 800. Helm? Coming about. I'm gonna nuke one. Okay. Yep. Taking energies off the sensors. Uh, cool, that sounds good. Uh, beam yeah, frequency good beam bravo. Beam frequency bravo. Beam frequency bravo confirmed. Okay, front shield we want now, apparently. Then my server window isn't updating at all. Excellent. Okay, hold there, we're tanking, so it's just gonna be front on beam firing. Watch that, Captain. Uh, so, weapons, confirm that you can't load anything in your tube? I am sniping right now, so I'll confirm in a second. Sure. Uh, 
Our our weapons are not firing at all. Our beams are not firing. Uh, engineering, what's going on with beams? More energy in the beams now? Yeah. Anything happening? Nothing loads in the tubes. So our torpedo weapon... has energy. Should be all right. Is there any? Oh, lo torpedo loading now. Okay. Is there any like beam okay. damage or something, engineering? Nope. Yeah, enemy shields are just charging as far as I can see. I think there's been a bug on the server, because the server considers us to still be at the space station. But before that could have been the, the, the uh, tubes didn't load. I read it 900 me. meters. Sorry, repeat, um, engineering. The, that the torpedo didn't load could have been because of me. The okay, oh, well, really turn the energy down to the tube. Yeah. Okay, yes. cool. Well, I'll chalk that one up to experience. Okay, uh, Captain, can you yeah. confirm our location? Can we reverse a bit? Because I'm going to nuke them. I don't want to die. Uh, I can. I don't know what position Thank you're reading, Launch sir. nuke, that's that, fine. That's good. Front shields are overheating. Can I put them down? Yeah. The thing Fair is, it's not getting up. a lot. There we go. There we go. Got them. Okay, I'm, I'm wondering if uh, we can reset the uh, thing by doing uh, a small jump. Roger that, Captain. Small jump. I'll we make have... a jump to coordinate uh, bearing 280, one click. Yep, sounds good. Uh, ca cap Captain, before we jump, we have no weapons. That's cool. We're yeah, going to uh, dock. Uh, we're just jumping nearer to the space station to carry. Then we're going to dock so we'll get weapons and energy and all that. It's okay. just be crashing distance. We may all die in the next 10 seconds. Sure. Well, it's been a pleasure <laughs> serving with you all. <laughs> 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 Oh, we're good. Okay, so how do I want you to get docked with DST? Roger that. Uh, don't need a bearing this or anything. This is hard. I don't Negative. know what, what you guys are doing. Yeah, no, I know that. So, uh, engineering, what's the status of the yes. ship from your your perspective right now? Well, we are in half energy. We don't have any weapons. Uh, shields are off, and all the energy levels are yeah, a normal and hundred percent. Okay. Uh, anything overheating? How are the damage crews? Um, no damage. Front shield and rear shield are quite hot, but not overheating yet. Okay, Captain cool. Docking in progress. Excellent. Well, we're docking, so let me know when um, repairs and energy and ammo is all good and then we'll uh, good. buzz off somewhere else. So I'm going to check comms, which is probably a whole bunch of people dying. Oh, DS2 complaining about us. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> well, DS2, you can suck back. it. Okay, I have uh, I have a, a group of enemies. I'm just scanning them, and then we'll have uh, okay. some targets. Okay, temperatures are, are, are back to normal, and um, energy is not full. Cool. How's, our, uh, how's our shields? Captain, how's our what? How's our shields? Uh, go ahead, home. Shields are good. Everything is uh, back to normal. Do I have permission to move uh, main screen to tactical mode? Do it. Thank you. Oh, nice. Shields are deactivated, but it looks good. Okay, cool. I'll let you. I'll let, I'll say when to put shields on. Uh, so... The weapons have been refilled, but not to the uh, initial levels. We have one less nuke and one less ECM for some reason. Maybe DS2 are, they are in poor. the tubes. Uh, uh, those no, are the we... hardest weapons to construct, Captain. It does take some time. Ah, right. Okay. And you may have to order DS2 to specifically uh, build them. I really don't like being comms and captain. It's fucking boring. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll make DS2. Uh, what do we want them to make? Nukes. Uh, and one nuke, one ESM would be fine. Okay, okay DS2. So. I can only set to make one thing, so I'm gonna make them make a nuke, and then we'll swap to ECM. Yeah. Okay, so. Uh, science. Okay, so I'm gonna give uh, bearing and range for. Um... Hell. Hi, Captain. Okay, bearing two one two, facing. Uh, can I? Stop you there, Captain. Should sure. probably disengage docking first. Oh, disengage docking, yeah. <laughs> Good call. <laughs> That's why you're hell. Could... <laughs> Could we jump together with DS2? DS2 can't jump. <laughs> That'd be awesome. That'd be, Try. Good. That'd be great. <laughs> hey, baby, I brought a space station. Oh, no. Um... <laughs> Enemies everywhere. Quick, let's go. Hold my hand. <laughs> uh, ready for coordinates, Captain. Okay. Uh, oh, dear. I was going to. I was going to get you to jump behind them, but it looks like they've got a Zeno there, so instead we'll jump in front and tank him. 
Okay, I want Barry. I, I came up with a with a good film, good sci-fi film. Before we jump, it's it's going to be called um, a Deep Space. De white Deep Space Stations Can't Jump. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, well, uh, we're going to have to change plan because there's this weird uh, Xeno form which has just killed the entire fleet of ships that are coming this way. I'm a little concerned, to be honest. Where is that? <laughs> oh, that pink purple it was, thing. Uh, yeah, it was to our south, south, uh, west. We're going to instead jump to DS4 because there's a fleet just coming into it now. So I'm just going to give you uh, some stuff. So Can you give me facing, then direction, then distance. Okay, sure. What facing. The hell was that? Uh, what was that? Don't worry about what that was, but we're going to need these coordinates in pretty quick. Facing 36. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, facing 36. Bearing 36. Distance. Bearing 36. Um, 35. Distance 35. Ready to initiate jump. Okay. Get ready on that shield button because it's going, going in hot, as they say. Right, ready for jump? Energy yep. and shields are up. Confirmed, jumping in nine. We're not facing 36, Five, just saying. Four, three, you e perfectionist, two, <laughs> one, jump. Okay, status, please. Enemies in sight. Okay, cool. Taking on energy off the jump drive. Alright, front Mines shields. To starboard. Shields on. Um, why, what have you got in the tubes? Weapons? I have an ECM and one homing. Okay, fire the ECM into the group. Firing. Putting energy in beam. Okay, cool. Uh, the leader, you want beam frequency echo. Uh, load a nuke into one of the tubes. Loading now. The ECM didn't land, I think. I did, the no, shields are hot. It, it did, yeah. So okay. Do? Nuke halfway there. Excellent. Nuke almost loaded. Nuke is loaded. Uh, fire D56, the third one. With the nuke? Yeah. Helm back nuke up away. a little bit. <laughs> right to that captain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, excellent. Uh, helm, hold position. Uh, get, uh, well actually no, get to beam range with F44, which is the leader. Yeah, uh, roger that, close into beam range. Uh, engineering, we want shields uh, and beams. Shields and beams up. Uh, repeat weapons. Uh, shall I ho um, launch a homing missile? Uh, no, just negative beams just for F44, homing missile for D40 at the back. Tanking on F44. What is the frequency? Oh, um, F44 frequency is, uh, bravo. Bravo, that's correct. Energy's getting low. No worries, we're near a space station. Good. I'm oh. taking initiative, uh, Captain. I'm gonna take down the last one because it has no front shields. I'm firing a homing missile. Sounds good. Mm. Ah, that was a bit less effective than I hoped, but we can add another one. How's shields? How's energy? Um, shields are slightly close to overheating. Um, energy levels are alright. Can you slam the shields with coolant? Then I have to take it off. Uh, have to take beam or torpedoes off. Okay, turn it take, down. Take torpedoes, on torpedoes off. Torpedoes down. I'm, can you confirm the beam weapons are firing? I'm not. Ah, oh, there we go. Torpedoes are cooling down, beam on 100, shields on 200, 200. Excellent. Okay, Kate, do you want shields to Shields at 88%. Okay, I'm gonna tell DS4 to prepare for us to dock. Did we survive? Yeah, awesome. we're good. We have, we, good. we have another enemy, another enemy in front of us. Can we take him down? Sure. Cooling everything down. Um, so I we, we would have to approach them. Yep. They have no okay. propulsion. Uh, Approaching now. Alright, get in there then. Let's do it. Ah, roger that. Hell, they, uh, be advised they have no rear shield, so that could be roger a nice that. quick way of doing it. Attack. Should be in beam range now. Beam's up. Alright, stay, stay where you beams. are now, Helm. Roger that. Okay, Helm, Bear Bell, down. DS4. Excellent. Uh, 
engineering, get everything cool. And turn down Sorry, power no. to a whole bunch of stuff. Turn up maneuvering and impulse. Maneuvering and impulse are up. Everything is cooled down, no damage. Excellent, excellent. I hear exciting Captain, music. Captain, I turned down the shields. Uh, turn the shields down. Ener Captain. Energy is low though. Yeah. Captain? Yep. Captain? Yes. Right, shall I turn down the shields? Power shields down please, thank you. Okay, I'm scanning the next group, but you guys get on with the uh, docking. Hi Captain. Can I get some energy on sensors please? Yes. us up. Okay, so we've got some Kralian cruisers. Initiating docking procedure. Okay. Why were these two stations so close? Were they docking with each other? <laughs> oh god, that reminds me that someone told me what docking meant in a sexual context. <laughs> I don't yeah. know, do I? <laughs> Andro knows, right? It, it still means that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Even in yeah. space, it still means that. Yeah. <laughs> space, space docking. <laughs> so you do it in zero gravity. <laughs> Pretty hard, probably. <laughs> uh, uh, cupcake. Close over dictionary. I mean, Captain Cupcake. No. Uh, I mean, uh, Engineer Cupcake. <laughs> you suck at using code names. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how's You're just too honest? How's the docking? Is able seaman not the correct? <laughs> um, docking. <laughs> 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 okay. Let's Let's uh, excellent. Okay, debark. Debarking. All right. Be advised, we want to be jumping, and I will give you basic bearing and range. Ready? Ready for facing bearing and range. Facing 270. Facing 270. Bearing 249. Bearing 249. Range 1717. Range 1717. Weapons. Ready to yeah, nukes. I'll ECM. I'll Loading now. Battle. Engineering is pretty boring. Uh, sorry, engineering. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Give me a pay raise. Yeah. <laughs> Sit around here all the time. I'll do a career advisor. <laughs> okay, engineering. We have energy. one actually. <laughs> He's an observation. <laughs> He's downstairs. Engineering. Energy in uh, jump drive, please. Uh, screen frozen. What? <laughs> Are we jumping? Yeah, we're gonna. <laughs> uh, preparing to jump. <laughs> Is your screen okay? Not quite sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're not moving anywhere. Back. Yeah. Okay, cool. Good. Alright, initiate jump. That was weird. Uh, engineering, after the jump, I want uh, energy in tubes, beams, and front Jump shield. in five. Okay. Three, two, one, mark. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. I'm okay. I, I don't want me. <laughs> dump get space down, sickness. tubes, and torpedoes up. Okay, so uh, shields up, please. Shields up. Front shields and rear shields? Just front for now. Okay. Contact. Uh, Contact. Uh, please fire ECM and nuke directly into that group that is approaching that structure. ECM okay. out. Okay. Nuke out. Okay. Get ready with beams. They're approaching really fast. Yeah, I know. Hopefully this uh, will. Evasive maneuvers, Captain? Negative. Got him. <laughs> okay. Where's your captain? Uh, uh, okay, shield. Uh, weapons frequency, Charlie. Uh, reload ECM and nuke if you have them. Do we have them? We do have them. Okay. Uh, impulse to behind the group, so we want to dogfight them. Uh, right to that, locating. Alright, uh, so I want you to be um, targeting weapons. Target I00 should be the center unit. I00, zero zero, looking for it. Uh, hostiles come up and sensors now. I see I00. Zero zero. Wow, that's a lot of them. Yeah, so that's the one with the Char hit. Charlie frequency. Uh, when you have um, 
the tube's loaded, uh, fire the ECM into that, um, helm come about and charge towards him. Watch that. ECM firing Touch now. Yeah. How's uh, energy uh, engineering? Energy's good. Okay, so uh, front shields, tubes, and beams, as I said. How about a f nuke follow up? Yep, nuke follow up sounds good. Nuke out. Alright, nice. Nuke impact now. Looks sexy. Go in there and beam the shit out of them all. <laughs> Alright, Captain. Beam, beam frequency, science. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, echo for this guy. Yeah, echo's good. Entering hostile beam range now. Okay. Taking torpedo down, putting energy in beam. Sounds good. I like the initiative. Sweet. Switch to O13. Frequency Delta is the most effective. And X81. Delta's fine. Fucking hell, you guys are killing the ship. Hold down. I like it. <laughs> Did we win? Captain, what would we you won! like to see in your tubes? Yeah! Um, oh, server, days work. Server finished. We no, totally we won. won. We're the best. Wait, this is the end of the <laughs> hey. game. What was the that. goal? Uh, the goal was just to kill all those dudes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. It wasn't very hard, it's funny. but uh, I can, we can make nice it a lot harder. Play, you already said we won, and then it was like, I don't know, 30 seconds later, actually, something happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My uploads are great, okay? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay. Um, all right. So, what do you guys I think the lesson that we learned here is that nukes are good. Nukes are fucking <laughs> sweet.